After performing hand hygiene and ensuring privacy, introduce yourself to the patient. Then identify the patient using two identifiers. Good morning, Mr. Wilson. I'm Jennifer. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can I check your armband, please? Your name? Ben Wilson. And your birth date? 7651. Thank you. Assess the patient's tolerance for bathing and activity, comfort level, cognitive ability, and musculoskeletal function. Determine whether the patient has shortness of breath. Before or during the bath, assess the condition of the patient's skin. We're going to get started on your bath. Do you need to void at this time? No, I don't. All right. Encourage the patient to void prior to beginning the bath. Arrange your supplies on the overbed table. Raise the bed to a comfortable working height. Lower the rail on your side and help the patient into a supine position on the same side of the bed. Drape a bath blanket over him and ask him to hold the top edge of it as you remove the top sheet beneath it. Thank you. Place the soiled sheet in the linen bag. Put the side reel down and we're going to take your gown off on the left side. Remove the patient's gown or pajamas. If he has an intravenous line, an injury, or reduced mobility on one side, begin from the unaffected side. Put the side reel up and then we'll go around to the other side. Then remove the gown from the other side. We're put this right side, side reel down now. And slide your arm. Out of the gown, please. Thank you for your help. Pause the fluid infusion by pressing the sensor on the IV pump. Take the container off the pole and slip it and the tubing through the arm of the gown. Then rehang the container and restart the fluid infusion. If fluids are infusing by gravity, Check the flow rate and adjust it if necessary. Do not disconnect the IV tubing to remove the gown. Thank you. Raise the side rails and lower the bed. Fill the wash basin two thirds full of warm water and have the patient test the water temperature to make sure he can tolerate it. You may warm a bottle of body lotion in the water. Remove the patient's pillow, if the patient's condition allows, and raise the head of the bed to 30 to 45 degrees. Place one towel under the patient's head and another over his chest. To protect his eyes, ask him if he's wearing contact lenses. Mr. Wilson, do you wear contact lenses? No, I don't. Okay. Then begin the bath by immersing the washcloth in the basin. Wring it out thoroughly. Fold the washcloth to form a mitt and wash the patient's eyes with plain, warm water, bathing the eye from the inner to the outer canthus and using a new section of the cloth for each eye. Soak any eyelid crusts for two to three minutes, if necessary, before you try to remove them. Be sure to dry gently and thoroughly around the eyes. Next. Ask the patient if he'd like you to use soap on his face. Would you like soap to be used on your face, sir? No. Okay. Then wash, rinse, and dry the patient's forehead, cheeks, nose, neck, and ears. Ask a male patient if he'd like to be shaved. Would you like me to shave you today, sir? No, I'm fine. Okay, I'm going to start with your arm then. If the patient is unconscious, wash the eyes with plain warm water, bathing the eye from the inner to the outer canthus, using a new section of the cloth for each eye. If prescribed, instill eye drops or ointment. If she has no blink reflex, keep her eyelids closed. Gently close each lid with the back of your fingertip 
before placing an eye patch or shield. Never tape the eyelid itself. All right. Now remove the bath blanket from the patient's arm that is closer to you. Place the bath towel lengthwise beneath the arm. Bathe the arm with water and minimal soap using long, firm strokes. Move in a distal to proximal direction that is from the fingers to the axilla. Then wash, rinse, and dry the entire arm. Wash the hands and nails. If the hands and nails need to be soaked, fold a bath towel in half and lay it on the bedside next to the patient. Set the wash basin on the towel and immerse the patient's hand. Let them soak for three to five minutes and then clean beneath the nails. Move the basin out of the way and rinse and dry the hand well. With the patient's arm raised and gently supported over his head, thoroughly wash, rinse, and dry the axilla. If needed, apply deodorant to the underarm. Standing at the other side of the bed, lower the rail, place the towel beneath the patient's other arm, and follow the same steps to wash that arm, as well as the axilla, hand, and nails. Cover the patient's chest with a bath towel and fold the bath blanket down to the umbilicus. Then bathe the chest again using long, firm strokes. With a female patient, take special care to clean the skin beneath the breasts. Lifting each breast with the back of your hand. Rinse and dry the area well. Check the water temperature now and change it if necessary. Otherwise, continue by washing the abdomen. Drape one or two bath towels lengthwise over the patient's chest and abdomen, folding the bath blanket down to just above the pubic region. Keeping the abdomen covered as you work, wash and rinse the abdomen under the towel, paying close attention to the umbilicus and surrounding skin folds. Dry the area and help the patient put on a clean gown or pajama top. If you prefer to finish giving the bath before you help the patient dress, continue washing the lower extremities covering the patient's chest and abdomen with the top of the bath blanket. We're gonna to move to your leg. Then expose one leg by folding the blanket toward the midline while keeping the perineum covered. Arrange the towel lengthwise under the leg. Now wash the leg using long, firm strokes from the ankle to the knee, and then from the knee to the thigh. As you work, assess for signs of redness, swelling, and pain. Thoroughly rinse and dry the leg. Next, wash the patient's foot, cleaning carefully between the toes. Clean and file the nails as needed, according to agency policy. Rinse and dry the toes and foot completely. Soaking the patient's feet in warm water for 10 minutes can help maintain cleanliness of the toenails and feet. 
but never soak the feet of a patient with diabetes or any other patient with impaired sensation. Apply a little moisturizing lotion to the feet. Remove the towel. Raise the side rail. Move to the other side of the bed. Lower the rail and follow the same steps to wash the other leg and foot. Discard towels into the linen bag. Then cover the patient with the bath blanket. While the patient is supine, provide perineal care as needed. For details, see the video skills on performing male and female perineal care. After raising the side rail, change the bath water. 